Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Cummins. That's not me on the screen. That's Nick Mayer from uh, America. But basically, I have been doing a study into Japanese swordsmanship through the historical scrolls. And today we're going to talk about uh, one scroll in particular and one skill set in particular. But I am the author of the Book of Bushido. So if you can get yourself a copy of the Book of Bushido, then it would be great for me. It really helped the channel. And today we're going to be helped by Jeff from America and Nick from America. And we'll be going through both of those chaps. will be helping me out with the swordsmanship today. Now we're going to be going through this book which is the Muso Jikiden Eshin Ryu okay and we're going to be going through that and it's the EI forms and all Yamauchi branch. This was sent to me by uh, Nick who I had the sparring match with from the UK and he's a great great lad so he's helped me with that. So basically what I'm going to do now is take you through uh, the skill itself. Now I'm going to show you Jeff first, Jeff from Kerry. Now he's going to go through the skill a few times and I will show you the oral tradition and basically I've asked uh, Jeff to just do a few different takes with a bit of a struggle in it or sometimes just clean cut and easy so there's the clean cut version and that's the idea of what it says but also sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a struggle and again I will show you this in a minute so uh, and what I've done is I've going to slow it down for you and show you exactly what he's, he's doing so this comes from Edo period samurai and the idea is that somebody creeps up behind you he's going to grab the sword and either grab over and grab the handle or just try and restrict you from getting your sword and you've got a struggle to get out of it push it and then move and break his sort of uh, balance there as you see he's gonna go and then you can take it out and you can cut and kill so that's Jeff in Kerry so this is called Takio Toshi and it says this form deals with the problem what of what to do when the opponent grabs the end of your sire and it's known as stepping on the opponent's shadow we have two basic versions the opponent is grabbing with the right hand behind you and the opponent is grabbing the left hand now they're trying to push the scabbard forward and trying to grab the hilt as well sometimes they're just trying to push the scabbard forward and sometimes they're just trying to do the hilt you can pause it and read it there so as not to bore you by reading it all out you could have paused that on screen and uh, use that and basically nick here is showing how he, how that happens this is nick from richmond and uh, with his assistant so she'll either be going with the left hand or right hand she'll be grabbing the side to try and push it forward you can come out and cut like that um, the poor lady so uh, they're trying the different versions here from the oral tradition so you just uh, let me know what you think about this skill down below have you ever come across this have you ever dealt with this school um, what do you think of it there's also this version here which is dash forward leaving the sire behind and that is where basically you will uh, grab it and you move forward as they do and again Nick or you there's the other one where you actually push backwards like Nick just did then Oh guys, I do really, really think you should stop on those points and read them because obviously I don't want to go on too long here because if I read them all out, uh, it makes a long video and the videos don't do so well. So do read them. But there's basically grasping with the left hand, grasping with the right hand, grasping both the hilt and the uh, sire. And then there's also pushing backwards or moving forwards. And these are the things there Nick is pushing backwards. So have a look through the terms and see what you think. And let me know what you think in the comments below. But I'm just going to give you a quick now understanding about the... Uh, I'm going to put on screen some of the information that Jeff has kindly put together. So that you can know the... Um, and you can pause this and get the information about where this skill comes from. Jeff from Kerry has kindly put this back to uh, f put together for me. Tracking the coup so it's from Kongen no Maki, yep, uh, 17th century. And but it's what it is is this is a modern book. So unfortunately, the book's no longer available. And Nick from uh, England has sent me a PDF copy, uh, a printout copy, which I sent to Jeff, who then turned it into PDF. We don't do copyright theft here or stealing, but the simple fact is it's just not available. I'm more than happy to buy a copy. Um, but they are there. This is uh, and the public the publication information is there, and the techniques in the video are basically Taki Otoshi, uh, stepping on the opponent's sh uh, shadow. So all the information you need is there and all that's left to say is can you then put it together and have a look tell me what you think in the comments below a massive thank you to nick from um richmond dojo there and that's richmond dojo one of the most beautiful dojos you'll ever see it's gorgeous and of course jeff 
who has helped us put all this together and done the research for me. So great stuff there, Jeff. If anybody else wants to help uh, by filming at their dojo, they can do. Just send me an email via my website, natori.co.uk, and let me know if you can film. And like these gents have kindly done, and um, let me know. And then we'll put your footage on the screen here. Uh, we've got the information, so let me know. Enjoy. Comment below.